on that catfish. Are you freaking oh, kidding me right now? What is going on guys and welcome back to another truck camping conversion video almost said John boat conversion video It's uh, stuck in my head. I've been saying it way too much But today we are gonna be working on this side of the truck camper. This is like the kitchenette area We got the ice box the sink everything all the water jugs. I mean This is the side we all want to see sleeping platform boring kitchenette area awesome but uh, I actually have a trip planned in about a week or so. So I wanna get as much of this truck camper done as possible, and then we actually get to hit the road and use it for the very first time. I'm heading down to Missouri. There is the Bass Pro Shop Fishing Fair. Huge, I didn't even know about it, but uh, Okuma, they hit me up last night and mentioned who was all going to uh, this fair, and I was like, uh, me? <laughs> me, <laughs> I wanna go. But uh, it's a seven hour drive, so big trip. We're gonna cross a few states and uh, Get to use this camper for the first time so i'm excited about that but guys i've actually changed the plan for this kitchenette area or at least i changed the plans for the ice box location i was going to shove it straight back in here but we changed that so real quick let me head to my computer and i will show you what we're going to do now okay so last night i spent some time on paint and drew up the countertop plans so this is the original l-shaped countertop i was talking about that i wanted to do that's the ice box the sink and then storage for the water same setup over here except over here we have the refrigerator on top of a cabinet for extra storage all right so i got one sheet of half inch cd plywood here this is not going to cut it we're going to need some more wood i'm going to go through my wood pile see what we all got and then we may have to run to the hardware store So here is my project graveyard. We got everything from the John boat framing here. We got a stand up desk I made a few years ago here. This is a drawer that I might actually use, but that is from one of my last builds. We got some more three quarter plywood over here. That is from one of my Nissan Xterra camper builds. Like I said, man, just stuff from everywhere. So we got plenty of wood. If I can't get this, kitchenette area built with all this wood then I probably shouldn't be building this kitchenette area <laughs> now it's time to start throwing all this crap together where do I start I always catch myself just standing here just looking my brains turned off I'm not thinking anything and I'm just standing here looking at the project I've done this a lot with the John boat I caught myself so many times just standing there not getting any work done and I'm like I have to shake myself out of it I'm like stop Stop just standing here and get something done. And uh, I'm already doing it on this project. I haven't even started this project yet and I'm just standing here. So ah, my brain's turned off right now. It does not want to do anything, but we got to get some work done. So let's get started. <laughs> So whenever I bought this truck cap, the people who installed it, they installed it too far back. So I just I loosened all these bolts, slid it back about maybe half a quarter inch. I'm, I'm not even sure. It wasn't much, but it was enough to notice that it was off. So I just slid it back and got all these tightened back down. Now she's where she needs to be, and now we can actually add some plywood and do whatever we need to do to the truck cap. I plan to have this sheet of plywood run all the way back to here to cover all this so it'll be all nice and neat. Yep, that's fixed. So now we can actually start building out the cabinet. I got this three quarter sheet of plywood in here. I need to make a template cut around this thing so the wood can shove all the way up against the wall. I just got the base of the floor cut out. I cut around all these lips around the wheel well right there and it is fitting perfect. This is just half inch CD plywood. 
I was gonna use this piece of three quarter here, but it was four inches too short, dang it. So, hey, at least this bed platform is four inches longer, right? So we got the base done. All right, so I got the ice box where it's going to be. I just got sitting on this plastic box and the two water jugs, and that height is perfect. I like this height because it's not on the window, it's on the window sill. So if this rocks or anything, which I won't allow it to, I'm gonna build it pretty sturdy, but just in case it ever does, it will never be able to rock into the window. It will hit up here, not down here on the window. The door opens up nicely, no problems there. And we'll just have a mini fridge chilling right here on top of the counter, freaking sweet. So I need to build this section of the counter to this height. And then the rest of the counter will come up to the height of this right here. Counter top will come up to about right here. That will also keep it from sliding forward and back. So my, I did have a concern of the ice box sticking out past the counter, but it's not gonna be a big deal. It looks like it will only be the lid sticking out, which I'm okay with. Once it's all screwed together, it will be nice and secure down. And then I'm going to bolt this to the bed of the truck as well. Go underneath and use the lock nuts, washers, all that good stuff to make sure none of this like tilt over and just falls. So this section of the counter needs to be 18 and 1 8 inches tall. So there is the base, and then also went ahead and boxed off the wheel well right there. It was either work around all the curbs, making everything super hard, or just box it off and make everything easy. So I went ahead and made it easy and just boxed it off. Now we can go ahead and start cutting the walls. I just got the first wall cut out. You can see how easy this was to go around this square block. I mean, it's perfect. And then I, of course I did go around this curve here. Now I need to just leave half an inch right here for the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to size and then we will trace this out for our second wall. All right, it is now dark outside, but we got this piece cut, this side cut, and then the top for it cut as well. So let me kind of show y'all. This cut will sit right here. Boom, and then I cut this top piece out. As you can see, it has that big hole right there that is to go around the nut right there. Or for me to be able to slide it all in. So there is the box. This is what the ice box will sit on. And then we'll also have storage down here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this box together. We'll get it tacked with some nails first and then get some screws in her. Alright, so it is the next day. We got the refrigerator sitting on top of our box and it's sticking out a little more than I thought. So whenever I build these drawers, it will have a half inch piece of plywood and it will only stick out about that much. So my original plan was to have just this sticking out, but now we have probably one eighth, maybe a quarter inch sticking off of this as well. So not as bad, not like I planned, but not bad. So I can live with that. Again, this cabinet will come up to here. It will hide this ugly gap right there. But I'm actually thinking about adding a wall going all the way up. I think that will make it look a lot better. I'll have this sink right here and it will all be waterproof. So I'm thinking there'll be a nice little splash guard. And then I'll probably add a lip of plywood going up a little bit as well as high as I can get it. Probably just to the windowsill. 
again just for a splash guard if any water gets over the sink it will just hit that back wall and stop and then be trapped on top of the countertop it won't go under the counter or anything like that so i'm pretty happy with how this came out though looking good i'm gonna go ahead and build the drawers today and then we're gonna call it quits for this video there's going to be two drawers pretty much just split right in half the bottom drawer is gonna be a little funky because of that box but we will build around it i already got the measurements for it so let's start cutting some wood looks like we're about to get pooped on the wind is slowly picking up as the day goes by Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. It's supposed to rain all day today. And here comes the rain. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I want to work on this and get this done today. Well, at least the refrigerator part, so. So I got the first drawer done. It is looking pretty good. Slides out. As you can see, the square block back there from the Wuwa cover. It has this cutout going around that. Works out perfectly. So I was going to cover this area with the door, but I have to run power cables through there. We have the power cable to the ice box, and then the wires from the water pump that will need to run back over here through here. And then my camping battery will probably sit here in this area just so I have access to it. Plug in my GoPro batteries, my phone charger, all that stuff. I thought about throwing that in here, but it's not going to be tall enough. So, it's not going to happen. I could still run the wires to the back and have the battery, have a battery charging station in here. That'd be kind of dope, but we'll see what happens. Now we need to go ahead and make the second box that will cover up this area here. So I have some slides here. These are 20 two inches I believe but they're too long I'm not sure if I can do this but I'm gonna try to cut them down as you can see where they need to be they stick out about two inches so that's not good and let's just hope it cuts right I do have a metal cutting Diablo blade so that shouldn't be an issue but I was not expecting those sparks. Aluminum does not do that. <laughs> but it cut good. Nice and clean. guys here is where we are we got the two drawers added in here we still need to make finger holes so guys this drawer came out pretty freaking good except for one thing this gap right here the box is a little warped I don't I guess I made it wrong or something it closes over here but over here there's like one eighth of an inch gap I'm thinking about just nailing that shut for a day or so maybe it'll help the warped box get back in shape or something I don't know but yeah, that sucks. I know how to fix it. I have to take it all apart to fix it, but uh, right now I don't really want to. It's starting to rain again, and I'm not feeling that. But we got two drawers over here. It's funny because when I built this bed platform, I took away the drawers right here because I was worried about sliding them out this way. And now we have drawers sliding out this way, but oh well. Whenever I made the drawers on the inside, 
of the bed platform, it allowed me to make the bed platform even stronger with more support, so not too worried about it, but both the drawers slide out. This one slides out all the way to here. You got excess there, and then the top one slides out as well. Top one is on sliders, bottom one is just slides out on its own. Don't worry about this white paint on these drawers. Eventually, all of this will be painted white to match the bed platform. We're just going to go ahead and start on those two pieces. But I'm also going to get some wood putty, fill up this screw hole, fill up this gap or hole right here, make it all look nice and pretty, and then we will paint it all white and it will all match and look pretty freaking good. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. We got the mini fridge area all made out. I kind of still want to make the wall here going all the way up just to kind of wall off the mini fridge. I think it will make the whole build setup look a whole lot better. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, guys, it's coming out pretty good. We got half the cabinet made. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. That really bums out the perfectionist in me. Everything else came out perfect except for that freaking gap right here. Dang it! Ah!